this is Hobbs again. Uh, welcome to my uh, video. I know that uh, I've done uh, SM Cath before. This is actually one where I'm going to do uh, Scarlet Monastery uh, Armory. Now this uh, video is a little different. Normally I uh, power level people and uh, you know um, he, today I just basically wanted to uh, see what a level 65 pally and a level 70 pally could do uh, some damage in uh, Scarlet Monastery. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Hollander is a friend of mine. I used to actually power level him. Oh quite shit! A long Sorry, guys. I've, I've got uh, so I've got so many people trying to talk to me and get my attention constantly. Uh, just a minute. All right, all right. I, I'm I'm gonna have to sort this out after my stream. Like I, I've really got to deal with my uh, the, the the mod situation and uh, get get some people because like it seems like there's no way. Like I, I I just fucking okay. All right, well, let me go. We're gonna watch. Long this time ago, here. he's got a couple of level seventies now, so I've taken him through uh, Scarlet Monastery numerous times. But he's actually waiting behind, and uh, once again, so he doesn't aggro any of the ads. And I've got my uh, retribution aura up, and uh, I'm getting gonna get them all rounded up. Now at this point, you'll start to see my health is getting pretty low. So what I do is I'll uh, drink a uh, speed potion here, and because uh, I'm around 1600, 15, 14, 1200, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and I bubble there at 113 life. So throw myself a couple of heals. 113. Get dude. to the end here now. Holland is going to run up. Holy fucking shit, open dude! The, uh, door with his scarlet uh, key. I'm gonna go and close so this and try right to reach you. see, I'll get them all rounded up. He still hasn't done anything, hasn't healed, he has full mana, full uh, full life. Jump down, and now he's going to actually do the healing. Uh, you'll notice that he... Why uh, bounty? Thank you for the 10 gift to continue stuff. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. So you could easily take a bunch of level uh, 30s, maybe three healers and a couple mages to uh, area effect. Seems like a lot process. to pull there, dude. And they would get awesome experience. Videos like this are why I roll the prop paladin. Uh, I want to say that right now. Videos just like this are why I roll the prop paladin. I saw these videos and I said, you know what? This is fucking amazing. I love this. I want to be able to pull and just AOE everything down. And that's uh, that's all it's going to be, man. I'm so fucking excited for it, man. I'm so fucking excited. Experience, considering the numbers that are going to die. So I have them all rounded up. You're going to see some of the casters, though, up top. I went to the wall here to try to get their aggro, but it didn't work. So I had to actually run up the stairs here and uh, AOE so that they make sure one they stick on me and two they, they get the damage when I'm uh, doing that. Okay. The uh, Retribution Aura and the Consecration helps a lot. I've also got a Blessing the Sanctuary up so they don't take as much damage plus it adds some additional feedback. The uh, Skull Flame Shield that I have has a Thorium Shield Spike which adds even more. Uh, you're gonna find uh, if you go to uh, my blog, uh, www.wowhobs.blogspot.com. You're going to see a couple things. You're going to see which uh, realm I'm on or which server I'm on, uh, the name, so that you Log can look it up on Armory and okay, see great. all the weapons and also my talent trees. Login so servers are full. This. These guys here that just came, they're uh, regular uh, 40s. They're non-elites, but the ones that we just killed, they're all elites. Now this, uh, when we were looting up, I've actually never seen this drop before, but the Staff of Jordan drop. And at this point, we were both speechless. I couldn't believe I was looking at the Staff of Jordan. That's Holy a nice little shit, drop at the dude. auction house. We do have it up on the auction house right now. This might sound really, really stupid, but I, I, I get a lot out of just being able to look at a, like a BOE epic drop or like a mount drop like i just i see something and it just it feels good to see it and maybe it's like weird that i feel that way but i there's a certain amount of like i don't know like satisfaction i get out of seeing it okay just a second let me go ahead and i'll uh, I'll, I'll look at the rest of this okay give me one moment and then i'll be good okay all right so I can't really tell you how much we sold it for, but if you do head to uh, wowhobs.blogspot.com, uh, um, I'll post those figures once it does sell, so you'll have an idea. Anyways, that made the night, night worthwhile right there. And then plus we get all this other loot, which a lot of the greens I disenchant.
Imagine having a fucking staff. So what I've actually done up. today is I've actually released three videos all in the same day. There's this one. Hollander and I also go to Scarlet uh, Monastery Cathedral. So you'll see that. And uh, it's an actual bigger pull than what I did in my last one where I was power loving, power leveling people in the Scarlet Monastery Cathedral. And then you're also going to see uh, one that I did in Dead Mines. What you're watching on the screen right now is a few clips from my uh, videos I've done in the past. This is one so that fuck. was uh, me just grinding out in Outlands. Uh, I did this exact same fucking shit. As soon as I got to Outlands, I immediately did this. I immediately fucking did this. I like, grabbed around, I got all the buzzards, I AoE'd them all down, it was beautiful. Uh, and I'm actually rounding up a bunch of bone stripper vultures. I do have Look this one stuff. on YouTube as well. I, I, and, I don't know uh, why, I just love these favorites. videos. It's actually in Shadowfang. Uh, myself and Naxter, uh, we go there. He was, uh, I th think, between 19 and 21 at the time. But what was really nice was you'll see his experience actually go up on this scene. Uh, it was very interesting to get a third-person perspective to see the effects of this type of pulling and how fast the experience does go up. It's a little uh, clip from my... Uh, Dead Minds video as well what? that I'm uh, releasing today. And this is from a past one, uh, the Alderman. The Alderman's a nice one because it's uh, basically going through the back door. Do you guys think this would be possible in Classic WoW? Like, how much of this you'd be able to do? Like, I don't know. Like, see, prop paladins were, like, really good back then, but I don't know if they were that good. And... It's because, like, in Burning Crusade, prop paladins just became gods. Like, prop paladins went from being, like, pretty good to being just ridiculously fucking good. And uh, hopefully they'll be able to, uh, you know, be able to get a little bit of gear and, like, maybe AQ40 or Nax to where they'll be good now in, uh, in Classic. But even then, it's, like, really hard for me to say that it'll even be possible. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to finally fucking log in, but we'll see what's gonna happen, okay? Prop Paladin's run anything in Classic? Well, I mean, like, you can you can tank in a dungeon with a Prop Paladin. Like, why the fuck not? Uh, yeah, I... I yeah, why the fuck not? Uh, fucking DC'd again, dude. How long have you been dealing with this bullshit, dude? It's been like two, three hours? God fucking damn, dude. Holy fuck, man. Let's go. Holy fuck. I just want to play the game.